Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I ran over time on the last one. Um, but what I was saying is I like to throw um, high tiger shots to uh, stop them, try and entice them to not jump and to just walk and block, or to at least walk under the high ones. And then I'll throw low ones to kind of give the push block. But if they try and jump high ones or uh, duck low ones, or they want to duck high ones and jump low ones, then you can start to care shot and things like that, care knee, etc. But yeah, that matchup is pretty much all zoning. You can't really, it's very risky to try and do stuff on his, uh, on his wake up. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Oh, I guess I'll show you some ranked matches that I played. These are, uh, yeah, some ranked matches. Um, this matchup is pretty tough. The nose, or the Rose knows what she's doing. Um, because her pokes, it, like, if she's got the slide range, um, down pat, then um, she can really go to town, and it's hard to see like what can I punish, what can I not punish, things like that. But this rose was kind of jumpy, and that was an unsafe slide. That that was an unsafe drill. He was doing like unsafe slides and drills. That looked unsafe. I'm surprised it wasn't. Maybe I just punished late. I was kind of surprised he jumped there. Yeah, I guess my objective in this match is just to try and, like, knock her down or maul her until she has meter. And then try and chill. If she has ultra 2, that is. If she has ultra 1, like, here, then, you know, I don't really care. I'm just trying to keep her knocked down. And, uh, since she has ultra 1 here, I'm not really worried about... I, I don't have to worry about orbs. I can just safe jump her all day. Because um, Illusion Spark comes out pretty slow, so I can just, if I get a throw, I can just do Safe Jump Roundhouse, or if I do Tiger Uppercut, Forward Step Kick, uh, Empty Jump, I can also set up a Safe Jump with that. Here, I was just trying to throw out some care shots. Had the, I had the feeling it was going to jump soon, but I just timed it wrong. Yeah, he's really jumpy. Uppercut. <laughs> I did the um, angry scar a little bit late, so he was able to grab me out of it. Yeah, this guy's not really using footsies that much. He's just kind of jumping and jumping and sliding. So I'm just kind of laying back. Now I get a roundhouse tiger knee safe jump, I believe. Yep. So I'll block that and maximum damage punish ultra on reversal so that match is over but that's kind of the things I'm telling you about is like opportunities like that where you get a chance to punish you gotta do the most damage because I could have done like Kara uppercut and then ultra but that would have bounced him out to the corner to the other side and he'd still be alive so it's important to capitalize on damage when you can um this guy I played he's like Got 15k with Bison already. I have no idea how people have so much BP on Xbox Live so fast because like nobody I play has BP. But um, I thought I was I thought this matchup is actually in Bison's favor, but I actually haven't come across a Bison that I've had trouble with. I don't know why that is. Like it would seem that this matchup would be bad for Saget, but I don't know. I haven't had any problems with it so far. Knocked down. I set up a frame trap there just to see whether he'd try and teleport or whatever. If he had like any tendencies to press a lot of stuff on wake up. There I got a counter hit. Set up the safe jump. That's a safe jump setup, so that's not gonna work. Roundhouse knee. Oh just care knee. Sometimes I do care roundhouse knee if I just want to get in there. And I, you can see he has no meter either, so that's probably why I did it, because I wanted to keep pressure on, and I didn't really need a safe jump to do it. Nice jab uppercut. 
that's another thing too. Um, I guess if I have any Saget people watching this, um, it's important to know when to do which version of the uppercut. You can't always do fierce like you can't always do strong or fierce like you can with other sh with the shotos. If they're really close, you have to use a jab. If they're medium distance or if they press a high priority button, you got to use medium. And if they're far, you got you can use fierce or whatever. Roundhouse and then safe jump setup. He didn't have any meter though, but I tried to dash up and grab, but the grab didn't come out. Uh, that's a nice trick if they try and ha head stomp and use a whatever that thing is. I don't know what that thing is. Skull Crusher or whatever. You can use Standing Strong. Sometimes they go to the other side and you can't do it, but um, it's still pretty worth it to go for. I'm just checking for like gimmick stuff like slides, uh, EX head stomps. I'm lucky I didn't get caught by that. That's another jab DP. He has no meter, but uh, we traded on shorts on his wake up because he has a three frame. I have five frame. I just kind of did that one because I had a notion he was going to press a button. I should have EX shot there actually to kill him, but I didn't want to waste the meter. And I was confident that I wouldn't make enough mistakes for him to come back in the game. But like like I was saying before, sometimes they end up on the other side and you can get hit by that skull crusher, but um, it's kind of a risk. I guess I kind of did get lucky here because he almost got me with that. I was just mashing EXDP there because I didn't think that was a legitimate setup and invincibility would get me out of it as long as it auto correct. <clears throat> um, what else we got? I don't know, nothing too interesting as far as uh, that goes. Eh, I have some matches from Peaceful Jays, but eh, they're so so. Makoto, I find this match is pretty difficult um, because Makoto's buttons are really good at stuffing, like even like shorts and stand medium kick, and her dash up makes it really hard to tell when you need to press the buttons because she can get in really quickly. She has a lot of threatening stuff, and on wake up, it's really scary to try and wake up with stuff because her. Oh, okay. So I'll put it like this. Because her back dash is really good, so if you want to punish it, you'd have to take a risk and just do a Kara DP and pray that, like, he actually back dashes. Or, if you have meter, it doesn't matter, but if you don't have meter, then it's a big risk to just Kara DP and assume. But, and on uh, your wake up, she can, she can get really good at, like, baiting uh, uppercuts. She can just get out of there and back dash the uppercut really easily. If you just get careless with it. And I think she has good option selects for backdashes. So she's got a pretty good time punishing you for backdashing and doing reversals. But you have a harder time because EX Hammer, EX Command Grab, those things are kind of tough to get around. And you have to compensate for the backdash as well. And when she gets in, she can be a real problem. So right now I'm just trying to I'm just trying to cover the jumps, but he's not really jumping that much. And I think I kind of yeah I kind of chilled on that knockdown. Like since he had full super, I was kind of assuming a command grab was coming if I jumped in. That was a risky uppercut, but I just kind of did it. There you see, I'm still kind of if I neutral jump on Makoto's wake up, I'm it's because I'm respecting the uh, respecting the command grab and. There I went back just to bait the uh, grab because I smelled it coming, but she did a hammer. I don't know why he jumped back there. Um, I 
Let's see what else I can show you. I don't. These Saget matches aren't really that interesting. Oh, well. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll go back to Akuma cool. commentaries are just so much more interesting because Sag is like, you know, <laughs> it's just, just keep the guy out, but Akuma it's like, you know, you get mixed up opportunities, it's a lot more interesting to talk about what's going on. I don't think that's a good trade there. I'm just trying to coast my way in. Nice down fierce. Oh, I should have roundhouse there instead of sweep. I don't know why I swept there. That's a combo by him. Should have jab DP'd. I'm still not used to catching that on a reaction. Okay, got a knockdown. He probably tried a flash kick there, but at that range, uh, roundhouse demon flip kick stuffs most reversals or it'll pass over them so they don't get auto correct you can punish anyways there I got the sweep he tried it um, from that mix up I did the cross up option instead of the down medium kick option he tried to flash kick flash kick don't doesn't get you out of that and there I did the wrong option I should have done safe jump or cross up Tatsu but he was too close so my demon flip ends up getting whiffed and I end up getting grabbed there I think that cost me the round. Yeah, it did. There's one uh, error in my uh, spacing there that cost me. Now I got a uh, mix up. Oh. But I got pushed right back out because he was pressing short on wake up. Managed to get lucky with that. Got him to auto correct it. Or not auto correct, so I got a knockdown, so now I can deal damage. Ugh, missed the sweep. It's heartbreaker, but luckily he went for a flash kick anyway. That's probably spaced. Nice care grab setup. Cross up? No, same side. He tried to jump out, I guess. I don't know what he tried to do there. Using an air fireball as a shield to try and demon flip and set something up. Try to get a grab, didn't get it. Nice uppercut. Oh, I got lucky there with the delay. Try to flash kick again. Missed the sweep after flash kick. That's been happening to me a lot lately. Got the knockdown. He tried to block the other way. That's why you saw he moved forward. Oh, I still I still fucked up the thing, but it didn't matter because he tried to ex flash kick. Um, that's gonna be the last video for now, guys. Um, I actually didn't have that much. I guess I had to show you, but um, yeah, more later, I guess. So I'll see you guys later.